Hi, my beautiful Pisces. How are you guys? Hit that like button, you guys. Thank you so much for being a part of my channel. So this is going to be Dark Grimoire Tarot deck is what I'm using. The Dark Grimoire Tarot deck, okay, inspired by the Necromonicon. Is it Necromonicon? Necronomon. Necronomicon. Necronomicon? Oh, Necronomicon. Sorry. Necronium. You guys, dead people. I don't know. Love it. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Who is on Pisces' mind? Who is this person that's on Pisces' mind? Who is this person that is on my Pisces' mind? Okay. All right. Could be a Cancer. Could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. So the person that is on your mind, Pisces, could be a Cancerian energy, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Or it could just be someone here. It seems like this very mysterious type of energy. Whoever this person is, they're very detached. They're very cold here. They're detaching from a situation here with you. They're also very defensive here. Okay. They're defensive towards you. Um, they're kind of like saying back off, back off. You know, they're like saying back off right now. So they're pushing you away. Oh, they're wanting to be by themselves. You see how this person is sitting alone by themselves. They need time to think. They need time to reflect. Um, it's crazy because I do feel like with this Eight of Pentacles and this Nine of Cups, this person does want their wishes fulfilled here with you. They may even want to work on a situation here with you. Um, but I do feel like they're closing their emotions and feelings off to you, my beautiful Pisces. And yeah, they're very detached and they're very cold here. Um, this person has a lot of fears, okay? They have a lot of things that they're thinking about, okay? Definitely in that subconscious mind. Yeah. This is the person that is on your mind. So how is this person coming towards you? How is this person coming towards my Pisces? How is this person coming towards my Pisces? They could be water sign, air sign, I'm not sure. The way they're coming towards you is Seven of Cups here uh, with the Seven of Swords. Decisions, decisions, eh? Decisions, decisions. So the way they're coming towards you is some type of decision here that they're making. Um, their overall energy could have to do with the ending, going through some type of transformation or changes here. Um, I feel like they're going through some type of realization here, awakening in some way, emotionally. I feel like the way they're coming towards you, they're they're obviously like seeing, they do see some type of option or choice or they see something within you um, and they're like self-sabotaging. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, they're self-sabotaging the connection. They obviously see you as an option. Yeah, but they're self-sabotaging this connection. Why are they doing that? Okay, Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups in reverse, which is your energy. Over our energies and Nine of Cups. This person wants their wishes fulfilled here with you. They do. They're still optimistic about something here that they can reach or that they can have or obtain here with you. Stability here. But the reason why they're responding this way, for some of you guys, the Eight of Pentacles is like somebody here hard at work, right? Somebody's working on something, someone's not, um, they're focusing on something, they're busy, they're preoccupied here. Um, someone's working towards something, working on something, the Queen of Cups here. Someone's closing their emotions and feelings off right now because they're just trying to focus on work. So some of them are just really focusing on some type of projects, work situations here. Um, I feel like... I feel like in the current moment, someone is... so. In the current moment, you guys, this person is really focusing on something that they're working on or working towards. Why do I feel like this person is working towards making you feel some type of way too? How are you responding to this person? Ooh, the magician. Ooh, the seven of wands. You guys are manifesting this person. Oh, yeah. You guys are manifesting this person at a rapid speed or a rapid rate or some shit like that. Yeah, you're about to, like, trap. You're going to, like, get this person. Um, 
a connection, a relationship. You're manifesting this person. Yeah, you're the magician. Be mindful that you're not manifesting um, someone sabotaging this relationship. Okay, be mindful. But I do feel like you're manifesting someone and you're not fighting for it. You're closing your emotions off um, and you're manifesting them by not even putting in the effort or the work or the energy anymore into this. You're not going to try to show yourself off. This And I feel like what you're doing is working because the devil, this is the strength card here. Yeah, with the fucking empress, they're coming. You, you're manifesting them. You're manifesting them, Pisces. Yeah, King of Wands with the Three of Cups. Hooray! Passionate celebrations, reunions. Yeah, you're gonna ma you're manifesting this person um, at a very rapid rate. So you, this this is like a lot of ma you're you're being the fucking magician at this point, and you're manifesting somebody not through your emotions. You're closing your emotions off and manifesting them. Um, through your logic here. You're leaving your emotions and feelings out of the situation. Um, <clears throat> so you're trying to manifest, but you, but just manifesting with your emotions and your logic, okay? But I feel like what's going on is your emotions. I mean, you might need to like check into that, like um, with an open heart, make sure it's an open heart. But I do feel like, yeah, you're manifesting this person and you're no longer, and you're not fighting for this person to see something or recognize something. You're going to manifest them to see it. And they're going to come towards you with the strength and reverse and the empress. So that means they're going to be, um, I, it's like, you're going to like, you're manifesting them to open up to you in some way. And to have some type of abundance with you. What in the hell are you doing, Pisces? Because the way they're coming towards you, they're wanting like abundance here. They're wanting growth and abundance here with you. Okay. Tell me more about this magician in the Seven of Wands. Yes, yeah, the high priest is in reverse. You're not playing no games with the will of fortune and the two of wands in the fool in the star. You're not playing any games, but be mindful of how you're doing it. Oh, you're manifesting your wish. That's a lot of major arcanas. The high priest is the will, the fool in the star. Okay, and how are they coming towards you? Oh, the, the Knave of Swords, oh, the Queen of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, Justice with the Ace of Pentacles. What the fuck are you guys doing? You're getting this communication. You're manifesting. So uh, there's a book flying up in the air, but you probably can't see it. And there's like, whoa, where did that come from? It's like, that's how the fuck you're, yeah, Ace of Swords in reverse. You're manifesting this communication out of no fucking where, like out of thin fucking air. Like you're manifesting a a fucking um, uh, message out of thin air. It's like Abraca fucking Dabra is what I'm hearing. This person is going to communicate here with you. They're going to be coming with some facts too. They're not going to be coming with some bullshit. They're going to be coming with something here that's going to balance something out here for you, whether it's communication, truth, clarity. Yeah, you're manifesting this and it's working. It's working. Wow. Okay, what's the advice that I need to give to you, uh, Pisces? What is the advice that I need to give to you, Pisces, in regards to the situation, this person? the way they're coming towards you. What is the message that I need to give to you in regards to the situation? Uh, we have, yeah, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. So it's coming. A conversation is coming, but it's pay attention to the red flag. So I feel like you have to be mindful, I guess, of what this person is saying. Let me see. Yeah, separation. Tell me more. Whoa. Finances and career. Yeah, true love. Express your love. That's what I was saying. Someone's about to communicate to you. Okay. 
yeah, past life relationship. Someone's about to communicate to you in regards to a situation, um, why they may have ghosted you or stopped talking to you or a situation here with, with their job or something here. I feel like they're trying to say something right now with their finances or their job or something pulling them away. They're going to be giving you some type of fucking explanation about their job, their career, their situation right now. Okay. Is what I'm seeing. Okay. 